matter how rock and roll things get in jars, you've always got to put the bins out. into London this morning we've got a, an anniversary lunch uh, here in Westminster that we're attending uh, I'm shooting some footage for playing saxophone for and doing all sorts of different stuff I was up at 10 past 5 this morning I don't know why I woke up that early but great result for Lewis Hamilton at the Grand Prix that was worth watching check I'm in focus uh, but this uh, so it's anniversary dinner in here and then I've got to run back I'm still not in focus what's going on and then run back do the Q&A for you guys and then uh, <laughs> do a gig So welcome to vlog Q&A. We haven't done a Q&A vlog in quite a while and I just wanted to pick up on a few things. Uh, I did an Instagram question on uh, Friday. I asked uh, if this needed a bit of a trim. All the blokes said uh, no it didn't. All the girls said yeah it did. We'll see. At the moment it stays. Lots and lots of comments about the Legere Reed. Um, some expected, some not expected. I did want to start out from the caveat that I was trying it because you guys had asked me to. I will go back to the shop this week. I want them to sort the tenon out for the uh, Vanguard neck uh, and see if I can switch the reed over. If not, maybe if someone from Legere is watching wants to send me a better reed. But consistently for the last 20 years I have played what was Rico Select like Jazz since they came out. I remember, gosh, it must be the early, early 2000s that those reeds came out. I have played those, and they are the reeds that I may have tried other reeds, but I've always gone back to those, and for the last eight to ten years, I've really not played anything else because the consistency of those reeds, the responsiveness of the reeds. For example, this morning, uh, I was I just got asked to play on almost the last minute, had my tanner, I hadn't prepped any reads, just whacked one out of the case, out of the read case, whacked it on the tanner, immediate response, immediately able to deliver what I was required to do, which was more kind of pot playing. It was fine. That's what I need. I need something lick, 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 bang, slap, and I know it's gonna work. There are other reads that maybe give a more, more deeper tone, um and kind of cut through. We'll see, and we'll see if they'll swap it. But I, you lot asked for that Legere thing. There's an awful lot of comments. There was also a comment here. Uh, Peter asked me, he says, I noticed that you use soprano reeds on your alto. Could you explain why? Peter, I don't. What happened there was my website got hacked a few weeks ago. You may have seen it on some earlier vlogs. For some reason, some of the information when they restored the website, it was linking to soprano reeds on alto. I do not play soprano reeds on alto. And this morning I went back in and I have amended that page on the website. So if you click below and you go to my website you do get the accurate one so on alto i play on the jazz setup i play the rico select jazz 3m filed on classical it's kind of the reserve model they're the ones i'm using for for classical saxophone so apologies for the confusion there uh, it really flummoxed me when i saw that uh, bert says 2716 what madness is this yeah that's basically what i was thinking when i was playing the piece there really interesting comment here from barry the techno man on my logic versus pro tools video and i'm actually thinking i want to go back and remake and do a 2018 version of that uh, but he said here it's all about the personal preferences i personally would have been happy with easy at first but due to potentially wanting more function i chose logic okay i wanted i wanted one digital audio workstation and go deep if needed logic is the most capable it is i absolutely love logic i've been using it now and the more i use it the more i love it the only thing i would change in logic if i could if anyone from apple ever watched this would be to have the functionality you've got in final cut pro because in final cut pro and i'm editing videos for you guys i can quickly cut things um it's not as 
intuitive on logic. It just isn't. It's just so I'm editing audio. Maybe it's just the way it, it's just the way they've been designed. But I, I try and sort of work. I guess I'm more often than not now working in Final Cut Pro every single day editing vlogs for you guys. So I've almost become used to Final Cut. And it'd be great if you could slightly edit the way. But you know, maybe that's maybe that's just daft. I don't know. Question from Justin Malig. Uh, at six oh four, you're playing the Chad, and I can never say Chad's name correctly. Lefkowitz Brown. Yes, I've seen some of Chad's videos on the internet. He's got an amazing technique. He really has. He's, you know, just an incredible amount of notes that he plays. Um, I'm just always looking for new ideas. I know I guess in the last vlog I talked about making music is still true, but warm-up exercises, I'm always looking at different ways of approaching warm-ups. I was always impressed whenever I used to hear these old pros when I was, I've spoken about this before in other videos, but when I was sort of first becoming and getting semi-pro gigs and then professional gigs in my teens these old players they always had these great lines to warm up with uh, jeffrey asked me an interesting question he says as you had a hard rubber link for years and broke it rather than gave it up and then went on to the metal link where do you stand on the hard rubber versus metal debate now i did do that video a while back you can check it out here where i was comparing the three different uh, mouthpiece uh, the uh, hard rubber the metal and i think a plastic one as well I don't the metal one for me, and I think I said this in the, my answer to Jeffrey on the on the um, on the on the answer to the vlog. I think my personal preference is very much skewed towards a metal link because, as I said on that vlog about my mouthpiece journey, I spent so long in such an important stage of my playing. So that's kind of like from about two years in to being playing for ten years, playing that metal link, and I think that that made a huge difference. Anyway. As you can tell, I am really tired. I need to get a set list sorted for this gig tonight, and uh, I need to get packed and get ready for it. roll things get in jars you've always got to put the bins out
brake. Always reminds me of that story about Miles Davis got beaten up by a policeman for uh, having a brake at the wrong time and been in the wrong place. But anyway, we hope uh, you've enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to check out my last vlog here or the other way around, whatever where it is. Please hit the subscribe. I'll see you later in the week for another set of vlogs. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.